Hey guys, this is Akash Patel. I'm going to show you that how can how can you integrate uh, integrate a custom fonts in your iOS project using Swift. So just go through it. And this is the simple view controller uh, which have a segment control and a simple label. So I have just given the outlets to that label and the segment button and uh, created an action for the segment button. So I hope you can do that for yourself. Okay, this is just to show you uh, label is working or not. So you can download your font files from the internet. Uh, I have downloaded four font files here. So just to show you, I'm dragging it to the project. Okay, now in info.plist, you have to add one another property for font provided by the application. It will automatically create an array and inside that array you have to create four items because you have to integrate for uh, four custom fonts so just go for it three and four now type the accurate whole name with the point ttf or otf format whatever format you are providing your, to your project just copy and paste it into info.plist Okay, this is here you go. Okay, we are done with that. Before going through the coding part, most important part is you have to. Uh, Take the target membership here for each and every font file. Don't forget this because until you check this uh, checkbox target membership, your font files uh, doesn't work for your project. So we have done with that. Now to display to print all the fonts family and the fonts name, uh, you have to write one code snippet. I'm going through it. View controller dot shift. Okay. In view did load. You have to take a for loop for We are going to print all the family names related to font, uh, that font name because you have to write down actual font name not this uh, file name. So what is the font name uh, related to that particular font, uh, custom font. We are going to print all the family and fonts available in the export. Okay, I don't know what is going on but okay. Now. Uh, just family name and write down okay inside that for loop uh, first for loop is for the family name and uh, uh, second follow we are going through it it's for the font name so just go through it font name in UI font font name with the family name and here we are going to provide the family name so now just print Mm. Font name. Okay. 
so we are done with this now just run and uh, print this uh, font and family names Okay. here we are with the fonts and family names you can see that so now in segment control when the segment button is clicked we have to use switch segment dot selected segment index and for case 0 to case uh, 3 up to case 3 here in our case so just label dot font is equal to ui font dot and that's the family name sorry name and the size name here we are going to provide and size here we are going to provide the size so just write down 20.0 it's a float value now okay, okay so now just copy this case up to case 3 so we are ready for the four cases case one case two and case three okay break after every case we have to break the loop so so i yeah, forgot that okay now we have to give the actual font name here so just find our font files uh, related to our font files okay here is the thing LR family name we have just imported our custom font name it is here and actual font name actually is the LR italic so we are going to just copy and paste it to our code here now the second one is jump five so here it is it's jump five grade vibes so we are typing grade vibes here and just copy and paste it and the pacific okay you can see that the actual files uh, file name that what is uh, uh, whatever it is otf or ttf format chunk five great vibes and whatever it is it is not actually matching the font name inside it so uh, if you are providing this file name here then it will not work for you so just mind that that you have to provide actual font name not the file name and uh, in windows storyboard we will deselect the first segment by default okay now just run it so you can see that for each and every button our style is working for the label uh, thank you so much for watching the video i hope you have learned something and for any query please comment and like my video thank you so much have a nice day